Welcome to ASVAB Tutoring. In this video, we will go over 15 questions of aviation and nautical information for the ASTB test preparation. To practice more, download the ASTB Tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Question 1. If a fixed-wing aircraft has tricycle landing gear, a. It has landing gear to support the nose of the aircraft. b. It has four sets of landing gear evenly spaced. c. It has three sets of landing gear spaced longitudinally along the fuselage. d. It has three sets of landing gear spaced under the wings. The answer is a. In a tricycle landing gear configuration, an aircraft has three wheels, one under the nose, and two under the main fuselage. The nose wheel supports the front of the aircraft during taxiing, takeoff, and landing, while the two main wheels bear most of the weight. This configuration improves stability and visibility for pilots. Question 2. A floor or horizontal surface on a ship is called a. a. Station. b. Divider. C. Deck. D. Bridge. The answer is C. In nautical terminology, the term deck refers to a floor or horizontal surface on a ship. It serves as the platform for various activities, such as walking or working. Ships typically have multiple decks, each with specific functions. Other terms like station, divider, and bridge refer to different parts of the ship with distinct purposes. Question 3. From where is longitude measured? A. The International Date Line. B. Greenwich Village. C. The Equator. D. The Prime Meridian. The answer is D. Longitude is measured from the Prime Meridian, which is the zero degree line of longitude. It passes through Greenwich, England, and serves as the reference point for measuring distances east or west around the Earth. The other options, like the equator and international date line, relate to latitude and time zones, but not to longitude measurement. Question 4. If one end of a runway was numbered 10, what number would designate the other end of the same runway? A. 360, B. 20, C. 280, D. 28. The answer is D. Runways are numbered based on their magnetic heading rounded to the nearest 10 degrees. If one end is numbered 10, indicating a magnetic heading of 100 degrees, the opposite end will be 180 degrees opposite, 100 degrees plus 180 degrees equals 280 degrees. This makes the correct designation for the other end 28. Question 5. Latitude is measured from a. The International Date Line b. Greenwich, England c. The Equator d. The Prime Meridian The answer is c. Latitude is measured from the equator, which is the zero-degree line of latitude. It divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. Latitude lines run parallel to the equator, measuring distances north or south up to 90 degrees. The Prime Meridian and International Date Line are related to longitude, not latitude. Question 6. The first American to complete an orbital space mission is a. Neil Armstrong b. John Glenn, Jr. c. Deke Slayton d. Alan Shepard The answer is b. John Glenn, Jr. was the first American to complete an orbital space mission. On February 20, 1962, during NASA's Mercury Atlas 6 mission, he orbited Earth three times aboard the spacecraft Friendship 7. This achievement made him a national hero and a key figure in the U.S. space program during the space race with the Soviet Union. Question 7. In chronological order, the names of three primary American manned space programs are a. Mercury, Apollo, Gemini b. Dinosaur, Redstone, Vigarin c. 
Gemini, Apollo, Leonov. D. Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. The answer is D. The correct chronological order of the three primary American manned space programs is Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo. The Mercury program, 1958-1963, aimed to send the first Americans into space. The Gemini program, 1961-1966, focused on spacewalks and rendezvous techniques. Finally, the Apollo program, 1961-1972, achieved the first moon landing in 1969. Question 8. A ship's gunnels are a. The Fire Control Direction Center. B. The upper edges of the vessel's sides. C. The mounts where machine guns are mounted. D. The areas where fire can be observed. The answer is B. Gunnels are the upper edges of a ship's sides, where the hull meets the deck. They provide structural support and serve as a boundary to prevent water from easily entering the vessel. The other options refer to specific operational areas, but gunnels strictly relate to the ship's physical structure. Question 9. Who first flew faster than sound, and in what year? A. Amelia Earhart, 1937. B. Chuck Yeager, 1947. C. Robert Goddard, 1949. D. Billy Mitchell, 1942. The answer is B. Chuck Yeager was the first person to fly faster than the speed of sound. On October 14, 1947, he achieved this feat in the Bell X-1 aircraft, breaking the sound barrier at an altitude of 45,000 feet. This historic flight was a significant milestone in aviation, proving that supersonic flight was possible. Question 10. Who was the first American woman in space, and in what year? A. June Cleaver, 1982. B. Sally Ride, 1983. C. Sally Wright, 1981. D. Sally Forth, 1985. The answer is B. Sally Ride became the first American woman in space on June 18, 1983. She flew aboard the Space Shuttle Challenger during the STS-7 mission. As a mission specialist, she played a crucial role in deploying satellites and conducting experiments. Her accomplishment marked a significant moment in NASA's history and for women in space exploration. Question 11. The first widespread use of the helicopter was the conflict of a. Iraq and Kuwait War b. War Against Terrorism C. Korean War D. Vietnam War The answer is C. The first widespread use of helicopters occurred during the Korean War, 1950-1953. Helicopters were utilized for various roles, including medical evacuation, troop transport, and reconnaissance. This conflict marked the beginning of helicopters being employed extensively in combat and support operations, setting the stage for their crucial roles in later conflicts like the Vietnam War. Question 12. What was the first American spacecraft to explore the outer solar system? A. Rover 3. B. Voyager 1. C. Voyager 2. D. Pioneer 10. The answer is D. Pioneer 10 was the first American spacecraft to explore the outer solar system. Launched on March 2, 1972, it was the first spacecraft to fly through the asteroid belt and make a flyby of Jupiter in 1973. This mission provided the first detailed images and data about Jupiter, paving the way for subsequent outer solar system exploration. Question 13. A conventional fixed-wing aircraft is controlled around its longitudinal axis by means of the a. wings b. rudder c. elevators d. ailerons The answer is d. 
A conventional fixed-wing aircraft is controlled around its longitudinal axis by means of the ailerons. Ailerons are located on the trailing edges of the wings and control the aircraft's roll, allowing it to bank left or right. The rudder controls yaw, the elevators control pitch, and the wings provide lift. Question 14. In which one of the following does the altimeter display the altitude of the aircraft above a particular pressure level? A. Hundreds of feet. B. Thousands of yards. C. Thousands of meters. D. Thousands of feet. The answer is D. An altimeter displays the altitude of an aircraft above a particular pressure level in thousands of feet. It measures the atmospheric pressure to determine altitude, with each increment typically representing a thousand feet. This unit of measurement is standard in aviation for representing altitude, ensuring consistency in communication and navigation. Question 15. The time of 9 p.m. would be expressed using the 24-hour clock as a. 2100, b. 0900, c. 2100 hours p.m., d. 9 p.m. The answer is d. Actually, the time of 9 p.m. using the 24-hour clock would be expressed as 2100. The 24-hour clock system does not use p.m. or a.m. It simply numbers the hours from 00, 00 to 23. So, 9 p.m. is 2100 hours hours. To practice more, download the ASTB tutoring from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.